Newsweek magazine labeled it a music mecca, but it remains a very well-kept secret in Baton Rouge. In fact, you probably drive by and never notice it. Tonight in Showcasing Louisiana, we celebrate 20 years listening to the music. It is an ugly little building, isn't it? Driving past the squat building at 2401 Florida Boulevard, you'd never guess the greatness that lies inside. There's 18 couches in here. They're not much to look at either. I would say that the next stop for any of these couches would be somebody's dorm room. <laughs> but for the songwriters who have looked out at those couches and poured out their hearts, the Red Dragon listening room is something special. Five years old and seven bowls and sequins everywhere. We didn't want to be a bar. We didn't want to be a, uh, an exhibition hall. A listening room kind of told the story of what you would do if you came to this place. The Red Dragon was one of the country's first music halls dedicated solely to listening. We tell everybody if they want to have a conversation during the performance that they should take it out to the patio. And we really do mean it. My, my daughter calls it the shut the hell up speech. It's a policy that's attracted songwriting nobility from around the world. The musicians love it. We get, we get musicians that should never play a place this small just because they enjoy playing for a, an audience that's listening. This is. Why don't you come Artists like Jerry Jeff Walker, Joan Baez, and Birds founder Chris Hillman have all graced the stage here. And that living room appeal led Newsweek magazine to name the Red Dragon to its top 10 places for music in the entire world back in 2019. They put us as number one, and we were the only venue in the United States. Tells herself she doesn't care. Global acclaim aside, Maxwell sees his mission as more local in scope. The touring national musician will have a, uh, a fan base, and they'll bring out an audience. And the local musicians can make great uh, hay out of that. Before COVID shut down concerts and local musicians scattered to find restaurants to play in, Maxwell introduced every national act with a local songwriter. Performing original music. Even got something called the kind they can't play in bars where the cover tune is king. He's definitely the biggest supporter of local original music. It's easy to settle down and Maxwell does it all for free. He doesn't take a dime, which I think is amazing. Uh, I think that's the only venue that I can think of where the owner doesn't actually take anything out of it. He holds one Palooza concert every year to keep the lights on. The rest of the year, everything else goes to the artists. Billy and Barbara. So when you stop in at the Red Dragon listening room, look past the shabby interior. It's really a, a understated place to say the least. And the dorm room couches. There's something about being in that building, on those couches, on that stage, that there is just, there is absolutely a magic in there. Just listen. Showcasing Louisiana and Baton Rouge, Rick Porche, WAFB, 9 News.